Hi, it's Mike D at Down Pepper Tree Lane. We're in downtown Carpinteria, California, a lovely beach town. Please like, subscribe, and hit the bell. That really, really helps me grow my channel. I need your help, you guys. Okay, thank you. So um, we're going to enjoy watching traffic back and forth here. And look at all the palm trees everywhere. That's Southern California. Um, it's a Saturday. Uh, this is a great walking, shopping, retail experience. Um, it's getting harder and harder to, you know, go into really cool shops and have fun and walk around and see people. So I try to highlight these villages that are still around. Um, so the downtown street is called Linden. You want to park near Linden, and there's about three or four blocks that have fantastic stores. Um, my favorite is Murphy's. That's a vinyl retro uh, music shop with, you know, old uh, old games like Sorry and Parcheesi and celebrity books and vinyl albums, DVDs, all kinds of retro um, media. Really fun store. Um, there's fantastic restaurants on Linden and uh, the streets around it as well. Um, there's a legendary hamburger place called The Spot. Big, giant, fat hamburgers and onion rings. You have to have cash, by the way. Got no credit card, just cash. And that's a hamburger shack. It's legendary. Uh, Carpinteria is known as the world's safest beach. That is their claim to fame. So, um, I, you can, lots of white sand and, um, plenty of room to spread out. It's not as crowded as Los Angeles. So that's one thing you notice when you get up to Ventura and Santa Barbara counties as, uh, there's more space. Um, it's a very wealthy community. I mean, as of now in 2024, just a basic house, like a three bedroom house in Carpinteria would start at a million dollars and it would go up from there. You really need probably more like 2 million to get a really great house in Carpinteria. Um, you have close access to Santa Barbara. It's shoot, just 10, 15 minutes away. There's only one freeway though. Just uh, the 101. So if there's a mudslide or an accident, you're kind of screwed. And they're, they're doing lots of construction. It's been going on for years in this freeway. So, um, you know, it's an issue. Uh, people like me in Ventura, we like to run up here to Carpinteria. And I like today, it's a Saturday morning. I'm going to spend hours and hours just going up and down the street. I like antiques, and there's a good antique mall here. There's a really good health food mall. I, I like to look at all the different vitamins and products. Um, so I can just do retail therapy and just get lost in it and just explore. I like to people watch. Um, there's some great coffee houses. I like to try coffees and teas. This is all in my wheelhouse, and it probably is in yours, too, if you're on my channel. You just like the the village economy is what I call it. Main street USA. I just love that. We still have towns like that. I don't want to sit at home and order everything on Amazon. So, Oh wow. There's the parking guy. He just marked my tires. So now I only have two hours <laughs> and he'll give me a ticket. Wow. That was fun. Drama. Um, so anyway, like I said, I'm pushing back from all of this, just stay at home and order DoorDash and Amazon and just sit there and watch Netflix. Like I'm pushing back on all of that. I really want to go out in society and be part of Main Street USA and sh support local businesses and shops and mom and pops. I like to really, and all that money circulates in the local community as well. Like it will go around around in Carpinteria over and over if we all pay each other. So that's a little economics lesson. <laughs> um, there's a really good soap and candle store. It's run by the local high school students. They created an artist co-op. 
There's really good um, art galleries here. And so just so you know, Carpinteria is, it's surrounded by mountains as well. Like they're never really going to build too much around here. And the mountains that can have, you know, landslides, the land is soft. So there's only so much they can build. So there's all kinds of beautiful wildlife. If you're into hiking or camping or have a pickup with an RV, I mean, you can explore for miles and miles up in all of these hiking trails. There's not a lot of lakes. The only way there would be is if there's a dam to create a lake. It's just not like in the middle of Ohio or something where everything's flat. I mean, everything, all the canyons are really steep. So we just don't have a lot of lakes here. Like I said, unless it's artificially created by a dam. Um, I think even Lake Casitas may have a dam. I'm not sure. but um, And there's always water problems here. We All the water runs off and we don't, we have water shortages all the time here. Uh, even if it's a rainy season, we just constantly need to collect it. Um, there are hot springs up in the hills. You have to, you know, find um, the right trails and everything. I don't know of a hot springs resort here around uh, Carpinteria. There's a bamboo farm that's really cool with like hundreds of kinds of bamboo in the hills. You can look that up if you really want to check out a, a proper bamboo farm and Here's some people just walking down the street. I mean, that's what it's it's all about, getting some exercise and uh, just um, mixing it up with people and having a great shopping retail experience on the street of Carpinteria. And um, then going down to the beach, like I said, really wide, sandy beaches. Um, the waves are smaller here. I think that's why they're calling it the world's safest beach. They're not as uh, strong the way this is pointed. There's no harbors here, no boats or anything like that. You have to go to Santa Barbara. But um, definitely if you want to, if you have kids or elderly and want a nice safe day at the beach, I would go to the Carpinteria. There's a huge RV park right downtown as well, just massive. And then enjoy hamburger at the spot and um, check out that Murphy's Vinyl Shack and... Um, and that's Carpinteria, California. It's, um, you know, a smaller city. You don't hear about it as much as um, Santa Barbara. But um, it's very classy, very low crime. And like I said, uh, housing is very expensive. So we'll leave it at that. Please check out my shop at downpeppertreelane.com. That will link you up to eBay. I have cool... Vintage items, jewelry, DVDs, and tre all kinds of treasures, gift bags. And um, I'll talk to you later. Uh, Mike D at downpeppertreelane.com. Thank you.